Cheers and welcome. I am Jay Barr and I got some great news. Cat VR is about to make some major waves in the VR universe. This little device unlocks some serious potential with their VR treadmills and I'm really excited for the future. Let me tell you about it. What I have here is an early dev kit of the Cat Nexus from Cat VR. This little device unlocks Cat VR's locomotion products, including both of their Catwalk C2 and Catwalk C1 treadmills, as well as their Cat Loco S device. This is going to allow you to use their products on standalone headsets like the Quest 2, which really unlocks the potential because now you'll be able to play games that were typically locked into the Meta Oculus Store. This is particularly exciting because Cat VR is saying that this is going to be their bridge between all standalone headset so that's not only the quest 2 that's also the pico headsets coming out that's psvr 2 and others that might come out in the future another huge benefit to this device is that it greatly lowers the cost of a ready player one like setup that you can have in your home with this you don't need a vr capable gaming pc to play your games on a vr treadmill now you can just connect to this little mini pc and it will translate your movements into your headset so that you can keep going without the cost of an extra gaming PC. So especially with some current deals that Cat VR has going on, this means you could get a pretty decent Ready Player One type setup for less than a couple grand. In this video, I'm going to show you how this works with a couple of games on the standalone Quest 2 because right now as a dev kit, this is rather limited. So I'm not going to go over exactly how I set it up and everything because my steps here are going to be different than those steps at release. This is going to be a pretty quick and dirty initial review of the product because currently I can only play a certain games that are on the Quest 2 and it only works with the Catwalk C2 so eventually I plan on showing you how it works with the Loco S and the Catwalk C1 but for now we're going to stick with the Catwalk C2 and the Quest 2 to show off what it's currently capable of. So a very quick rundown of the setup that I currently had to go through was I had to use SideQuest to install a couple of APKs on my Quest 2 headset which essentially allows the Cat Gateway service and the Cat Gateway prototype software to work in my Quest 2. Cat VR did say this is going to be a lot more streamlined at launch, but after I had everything set up, it actually worked pretty well. And to give you a closer look at the actual device itself, here it is, the Cat Nexus. Just to give you a view of each side here, if I can get it in the proper light. You have a mini USB port here, two USB-A ports and a memory card slot. Here's a five volt DC port. This is a digital audio input port. Your LAN cable port, an HDMI port, and this is a 3.5 millimeter jack. After I posted some pictures of the Cat Nexus in the Cat VR Discord, one user named Freeman was able to identify that this is pretty much just an Android TV box that they must have reworked. And Cat VR let me know that not all ports on here are really meant to be used at this point. Again, because it's a reworked Android TV box, some of these may never be used. But their plan is, is if any headsets need to use some of these ports in the future, they'll be able to adapt this for them. So currently to hook this up, I just plug in the power. Make sure one of the USB ports has my treadmill plugged directly into it so the treadmill can communicate with the Cat Nexus. And then I connect an Ethernet cable into the LAN port here, which allows the Quest 2 to communicate with the treadmill setup, which does mean both of them have to be on the same network. Cat VR did also let me know that you can connect this up via Wi-Fi, which is not something I have done yet since I have a cable in my office here where my treadmill is, but I understand that a lot of people out there may not have the ability to connect this straight up to their router or a switch in the same room that their Cat VR treadmill is. And obviously connecting this directly into an ethernet cable is probably the best for latency purposes, but not everyone is going to be able to run a cable to this device and have it plugged into the treadmill at the same time. So streamlining that Wi-Fi capability at launch is going to be a good idea. So once I have the software loaded on my headset, all I have to do is open up the Cat Gateway prototype software, and then I can load the game through the launch options in there. You do get the same basic functionality that the Cat Gateway software gives you on the PC, but it's very minimal at this point in its stage of development. In the software, you can adjust your walking speed as well as your accuracy versus fluency, which is very important to make sure that walking feels right in whichever game you plan on playing. And the software reminds you that in game, you wanna make sure that your direction source is set to your HMD. Now let's jump into Resident Evil 4 and see how it works. Once in Resident Evil 4, I was able to just hit the calibration button on my Catwalk C2 Plus and I was good to go from there. I did a little bit of a test running around in the game at the beginning, and it honestly felt just as accurate as my PC version of Cat Gateway. And I did a little test taking smaller steps, and again, that felt pretty accurate. When I, when I walked a little bit more slowly, I walked slowly in game, and when I picked up the speed, I picked up the speed in game. 
combat as expected was quite a bit more immersive because you're able to run around and shoot and all that kind of fun stuff and crouching down to pick things up just feels right especially when you aren't limited by a wire at this point during my testing it became really clear to me that even in this early stage with the cat nexus cat vr has done a really good job at making sure that the movements on the standalone version here feel the same as if i was playing on my pc I did try a little bit of backpedaling here, which felt about the same as on PC. It's really not that easy to do in general, uh, and it takes a bit of practice to keep doing it. I don't do it a lot when I'm gaming normally, so just figured I'd try it out on here, and again, it felt pretty good. And jumping right into Blade and Sorcery Nomad on the Quest 2, same thing. I just calibrated the Catwalk C2 Plus once I got in, and walking through the game felt actually pretty phenomenal in this each game kind of reacts differently it's the same way on the pc version of cat gateway blade and sorcery kind of has this little bit of momentum or build up when you start going from walking to running and that actually feels really natural on the catwalk here the little build up is nice between walking and then starting to run and it just kind of feels like you're building up that momentum to run and it just kind of fits with the game I did try a little bit of strafing and backpedaling here in Blade and Sorcery, which d doesn't quite work as well, which I think is the same for the PC version. And again, that's just with how the game has you move. There's that little bit of delay. So when you're trying to just slide your foot to the side to strafe one direction, it's just a little bit slower than you would normally want it to feel. Same with backpedaling, but not too big of a deal for Blade and Sorcery since mostly you're going to want to be turning and running and, and being real active anyway. Just feeling how those games felt with the Cat Nexus and, and how it really just felt like I was playing on my PC anyway, made me really excited for the new updates that are going to be coming out for the Nexus and being able to try a few more standalone games. I'm particularly excited to try games like Vader Immortal, which I haven't played yet on the Quest 2, but I think with the catwalk, it's going to be a really cool experience. And I'm also very excited for the eventual release of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for Quest 2 because CatVR has confirmed that with the C2 Plus, you can use the vehicle mode. So I just imagine it being a whole lot of fun being able to run around in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, being able to hop in a car, sit down and drive in the vehicle, and then get up when you get out of the car and run around. I just think that's going to be a really fun experience, and I cannot wait to try that out. And I'm going to be working with Cat VR guys to get any questions you have answered as I can. So if you do have any more questions about the Cat Nexus or what it's going to look like when it's finally fully released, make sure you let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to them. And if you're watching this video right away, during the month of November here, Cat VR is actually doing a Black Friday sale. So both the Catwalk C2 and Catwalk C2 Plus are $200 off and they're giving a bonus gift, which right now it looks like they're giving you the option to either include a Cat Nexus for free if you buy one, or you can do an extra pair of the shoes for the Catwalk if you don't do a lot of standalone VR. And it depends on how serious about VR you are, but I think that's a really good deal if you're looking for a very immersive Ready Player One type setup that you can have in your home. And there's a lot of good fitness aspects to it as well, so it could be a good investment if you're really into it. And if you guys want to do me a favor and support the channel, if you do go to their site and purchase anything, I will have a referral link below. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and if you use it to make a purchase, I get a little bit of a kickback, and it's much appreciated. I will also be doing a full video review once this Nexus is finally fully released and the software is fully unlocked, which sounds like it's going to be a little bit after Black Friday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you know when I post another video. You guys can also catch me live every week, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Central Time using the Catwalk C2+. Plus. I use it every stream and we have a great time. I'd love to see you over there on the Twitch. And there is something important I do need to shout out. I am going through a channel rebrand right now. Instead of being beer and headshots, we're moving over to JBar VR. Just something I got to do to be a little bit more marketable and more brands are going to be more willing to work with me. So you'll be able to catch me now at twitch.tv slash jbarvr and I'll make sure that links are in the section below. And lastly, we got a great Discord community out there, guys. So if you want to join the Discord and be a part of VR Community Nights, and I'm working on a lot of things like a VIP section for subscribers to my Twitch and all that kind of fun stuff, feel free to hit the Discord up and check us out. And that's all for this video, guys. Can't wait to see you out there. Have a good one. Cheers. Drink.